And remember this, Joe Biden is a threat to democracy. He's a threat. And you know, we'll bring in adversaries, and I'll bring it in right now, but even Vladimir Putin, has anybody ever heard of Vladimir Putin? Of Russia says that Biden's, and this is a quote, politically motivated persecution of his political rival is very good for Russia because it shows the rottenness of the American political system which cannot pretend to teach others about democracy. So, you know, we talk about democracy, but the whole world is watching the persecution of a political opponent that's kicking his ass. It's an amazing thing. At this point, if you want to know exactly what Donald Trump is guilty of, just listen to what he accuses Joe Biden of doing, because the projection quite literally could not be more obvious. Trump even invokes Vladimir Putin to try and claim some moral superiority here. Where do we even begin? First of all, if Vladimir Putin benefits from anyone, it's having Donald Trump in office, who has been the most hostile president to NATO in US history. And what does Putin hate more than anything? NATO. In fact, the threat that Trump posed to NATO was so great that just this week, Congress passed a measure that would prevent any US president from unilaterally removing the US from NATO, the direct result of Trump's threats to do exactly that. So it's ironic that Trump invokes Putin when he himself is quite literally doing Putin's bidding. And by the way, need more proof that Trump is a puppet for Putin? The guy is literally parroting his talking points. Of course Vladimir Putin is spewing bullshit about Biden because he wants Donald Trump to be president because he knows he can get Trump to do whatever he wants. He also knows that there's nothing that Donald Trump wants more than to be accepted into the autocrat club. This guy fawns over Putin and Kim Jong-un and Jair Bolsonaro and the others the way a nine-year-old girl would in front of Taylor Swift. And so Putin puts out some blatantly transparent propaganda about Biden. Trump parrots it because of course he does, all the while not recognizing that it doesn't make Biden look bad, it makes Trump look like an idiot, which to be clear, isn't especially difficult. But what's most ironic here is that Trump uses Putin to warn about the US losing its ability to speak on matters of democracy because of Joe Biden. As if Biden is the reason that America is losing its credibility on that issue, and not the guy who quite literally defied the US Constitution to become the only president in the history of this country not to respect the peaceful transfer of power, and the only president in the history of this country to incite an insurrection against our own government. The idea that Trump, of all people, could criticize any other human being in the history of the United States for destroying our credibility on matters of democracy is an absolute joke. And while we're on the topic of projection, it doesn't stop there. Here's another gem from Trump's rally. It's no wonder Crooked Joe and the far left lunatics are desperate to stop us by any means necessary. They're willing to violate the U.S. Constitution at levels never seen before in order to win. They're dirty players. They play dirty. They weaponize justice. They're a bunch of dirty players. Look at what they're doing right here to Michael and great people in this state. It's a disgrace. Joe Biden is a threat to democracy. Oh, nothing. Just the guy who quite literally suggested suspending the Constitution, claiming that his opponent is the one who wants to violate the Constitution. I mean, my God, this is a guy who refused to rule out the possibility of being a dictator when asked multiple times. We don't have to surmise whether or not Trump wants to violate the Constitution because he is already telling us in no uncertain terms. And look, I can give you these examples all day, but I think the more useful exercise here is to discuss why Donald Trump is doing this, because the answer is actually quite simple and quite insidious. He knows that he won't be able to convince people that he's not a dangerous autocrat, but what he can do is muddy the waters. And so if he can convince people that Biden is also a dangerous autocrat, then he'll take away Biden's comparative advantage. If people think that they're both corrupt, that they're both dangerous, that they're both autocratic, then just like that, Biden doesn't seem so virtuous in comparison, and Trump doesn't seem so dangerous in comparison. It's the Steve Bannon approach of flooding the zone with shit. Their goal is to make it so that you don't know what's fact and what's fiction. And within that uncertainty, Trump will be able to exploit the people who he needs to exploit, which is exactly what he's doing here. And it's not just Trump who exploits this tragedy. The rot pervades the entirety of the GOP. Republicans are also using this tactic for the Biden impeachment effort, knowing full well that while they couldn't expunge Trump's impeachment, the best alternative is just to also impeach Joe Biden in an effort to completely devalue the entire meaning of the practice. And that's a point that I touched upon with Congressman Jared Moskowitz in this week's interview. 
you know, Republicans are going to continue finding no evidence against Joe Biden, but that doesn't seem to matter to Republicans because they still get the optics of corruption. And at the end of the day, that's what they're looking for. So can you speak to that? Well, no, there's definitely a level of let's drag this out as long as we can. Let's prosecute it in the media. We'll go on Fox News. We'll go on Newsmax. We'll go on OWN where they don't ask us any tough questions. You've seen what happens when they go on other networks and they ask tough questions about the evidence. You know, James Comer, you know, he's like Nick Cage and National Treasure. He's just like all over the place uh, and, and he can't answer any of the stuff. Um, but but that's really what they're doing at the moment. They're going to prosecute this in the press. Th they'll say, well, look at Joe Biden's numbers. They'll take full credit for that. You know, Donald Trump, who's given these instructions to the Republicans to do this because he doesn't want to be the only one who's been impeached right. uh, uh, twice. Kind of, kind of to devalue this whole process and to that's say, right. look, everybody can get impeached now. Correct, correct. Because really what he wanted is he wanted the Republicans to remove the impeachments. Remember that those bills were filed to expunge the impeachment, something we've not seen uh, ever before. Th that didn't go anywhere. So when that Trump plan didn't work, they're going with this plan, which is, well, you know, let's try to muddy up Joe Biden. Uh, and, and so, you know, that's that's really the focus. But again, look, Speaker Johnson, he's in charge of this. He's really delivering for Donald Trump. It's not about the evidence. We are really continuing to devalue the point of impeachment and we're continuing to break the institution every single solitary day. Congress doesn't really do much anymore. Um, you know, other than, like I said, remove a speaker, remove a member and open up an impeachment inquiry with zero evidence. And of course, to see the full interview, click the link right here on the screen or check out the interviews playlist on my YouTube channel. So I get that Trump is trying to frame himself as a populist, but in reality, he is a demagogue, purposefully exploiting the marks who are gullible enough to believe him. It's not just that Trump doesn't care about the people whose affection he seeks, it's that he has outright contempt for them. That's why he lies so easily, so openly, and so shamelessly. The lies aren't a byproduct, they are the whole point. Without the lies and the projection, he wouldn't have a strategy, and he's putting that on full display at these rallies. So no, Joe Biden is not a threat to democracy. No, Joe Biden is not opposed to the Constitution. And no, Joe Biden is not a danger to this country. But if you're looking for the person who is, then you don't have to look further than the guy who's making these accusations. Before you go, I need some help. Please subscribe to the channel and do your part to help grow the progressive media ecosystem. I don't do sponsorships or paid ads, I won't ask for money, but just subscribing to this channel goes a really long way and it helps get the message out to more people. The subscribe button is right here on the screen. You can also subscribe to my Spanish language channel, which I made to reach those crucial Spanish speaking voters. That link is on the screen too. And finally, if you want to listen to my audio podcast, you can follow that link as well. Thanks so much for watching.